der Trin wie die Schabe im November, er mit Scham jetzt an dem Geschäft. My first experience would probably be way back when I was a child. I would take apart uh, mechanical devices to look inside and try to build a new thing out of those. So I would take apart my, my dad's shaving machine, take out the engine, build something with it. That something doesn't necessarily need to solve a specific problem, it was just the fun of building. I also programmed since I was about 10, and here I am today, still programming, so. People upload up to 300 million photos. That was their latest statistics. 300 million photos a week on Facebook alone. This is an amazing number. They've crossed the 10 billion photos barrier and this number is just growing week by week. In order to make sense out of this entire mass of photos, you need to go through the process of tagging the people inside the photos, letting everybody know who's there. Gil and his company identified this need and developed a technological solution to the problem. Face.com is building the largest facial recognition platform for web services. We do this on mass scale. We scan the entire web. Well, we provide is a list of services for people to search for themselves and others, to automatically tag photos, and in many senses control their reputation online. There are a lot of security technologies that are uh, focused on uh, very frontal faces, not in everyday photos where you, you don't look directly at the camera, you uh, look sideways many times, you have uh, different elements hiding pieces of your face, whether it's your hand reaching out or uh, having sunglasses over your face. We process photos in very low resolutions, in bad conditions, bad lighting. You don't need to be a good photographer, you don't need to, to be someone who knows how to take his own photos in order to come up on our search. And that technology is very specific to what we do. In March 2009, Face.com emerged from stealth mode, allowing a limited number of users to test their technology. This added PR and tech support to Gil's already long list of responsibilities. As a CEO of a startup uh, company, uh, you do everything, basically. Uh, this is true for everybody else uh, I work with. We need to manage a relatively small budget in building a relatively huge enterprise. As such, we do everything. We program, we design, we talk to our uh, customers. I speak to many investors. From a lifestyle perspective, you need to be prepared to invest a lot of time first. From dusk till dawn, you're fully engaged in the business, you're answering phones even when you shouldn't. There is no single point where you sit down and relax without another thought going through your head. I wake up in the morning, if I do something, something good happens. If I don't, if I decide to be lazy and a bum, nothing happens. You know, it's that kind of business and I find it very, very rewarding. Without my wife's support, I would never be able to do this. You really need that help. You know, take care of the kids, you know, cover for you when you're not there. They don't understand why daddy is not home. So that really helps, at least to reduce the guilt levels. <laughs> Over the years, Gil learned that success takes more than a good idea and a little desire. I know so many people with great ideas. My mom has great ideas. Every friend of mine comes to me with a gazillion different ideas every day. I think the whole point is just to pick one up and do it. And over the course of time you learn that it's not necessarily the best people that are the most successful, but are the get-goers. I was not happy working for other people. I left a, a very comfortable job at a big uh, company. We had a dream to start something, me and uh, my partners, and we went ahead and did it. As for tips for young entrepreneurs, Gil has many. I think part of being an entrepreneur is being plugged into the community. It's, uh, you cannot do it any other way. You need the help of, of your fellow entrepreneurs. Network is the best place to go ahead and, and hunt for people, hunt for money, and then do the initial marketing. It really helps. Going out this alone is very difficult, not recommended. A good team is much more important than the initial idea. You have this initial thought of what would be uh, your core value, but that changes or you tune it uh, over time, but your partners don't change. Don't you know, sink yourself into what cannot work out, but actually think about the opportunity.